name is Tony, and I am the proud parent of a Full Share alumni. My daughter graduated, I guess, a year now from Full Share, um, and she's living her best life. We're living a great life, our best life here. Gianna was just turned 18 when she entered Full Shear. She had done three months in wilderness. So we got her into wilderness just before turning 18. Um, thinking back now, I wish I'd started the process a little bit earlier, but you know, can't look back. So she um, did her three months in wilderness and everyone was in, agree in agreement that she just needed more. She worked so hard to peel away those top layers, but now she was really exposing herself, her vulnerable self, and we needed to find a place that was right for Gianna. I knew that it wasn't gonna be a hospital setting or an institutional type of setting. She loves the outdoors. She loves nature. We, we She loves animals. We, we worked to find a place that really embodied everything, but still was gonna to continue to work on her issues with attachment, her issues with her anxiety, her depression, her trauma. And um, our educational coordinator gave us the names of you know some places. And then when we kept looking and looking, every time we would say, what place has this? What place has this? What place has this? Full Shear was always at the very top. We didn't have a tremendous amount of time to decide because her transition needed to be seamless. We needed to take her from one place to the next place. And just everything that I was reading about Full Shear, the website, when Helene answered the, my call, the question she would answer, I knew in my heart that this was exactly the right place for her. I speak with a lot of parents now, and I, I see a lot of people freeze in their decision-making, that they don't know what to do, and they're so afraid of making the wrong decision. I never felt that way. I knew that Fulshia was the right decision. I knew the wrong decision was me not deciding and not moving forward with her and continuing with her treatment. So I never, I never looked back. I never questioned, did I make the right decision? I just knew in my heart, this was the place where Gianna, my daughter belonged, Gianna belonged. We flew her from her wilderness program to full share. The transition was very quick. We pulled up to um, this beautiful ranch. Um, the website doesn't do it justice. The ranch house is beautiful and welcoming and the staff is incredible. She felt so at peace and happy just upon our arrival. My husband was with us and our, our younger son was with us and they all felt the same thing when we pulled up, like, wow, we couldn't have picked a better place. We were greeted by Helene who worked us through the program, told us what to expect. And we were fortunate enough also to meet Alicia, who would be Gianna's therapist through the whole process, who is someone that I can't describe in words. I The gratitude and love I could cry that I have for, um, for her is just not, I can't explain it. It, she, it takes a village. It was the whole full share team, but Alicia, she just saved my daughter. She just, she's just incredible. And I don't know that I would have found my Alicia just anywhere. The, it, the first few weeks or more month or so was a little tricky for G. You know, she quickly got into her routine. She uh, met the other young women, um, but it was tricky. It wasn't all, you know, happy phone calls and happy communication. She struggled a bit. And that was normal. They would always reassure me. And I, in the beginning, was that mom I called up all the time. Well, she's not happy with her dinner. She's not happy with her bed. And those were just silly things. It wasn't about what she was going to be eating or where she was sleeping or if she was comfortable at night. It's it's the professionals and, and the environment and what they were able to do to support her and help her that was important. And I, I got to learn very quickly from talking to some of the staff and my full share mom mentor that that was very normal. Just validate how she felt and just keep it going with her. Just encourage her to do this, encourage her to do this. And and she did. She, she really didn't give us a lot of kickback. She really didn't ever want to say, I want to come home. I don't want to do this. She wanted the help. And I think that might have been a huge difference in G and 
maybe someone who didn't want to be there or didn't want the help. She was just so desperate to get that help and to feel good, to, to have her life, to to live. You know, she she got through a lot in wilderness and realized that she wanted to be alive. She wanted to live. She wanted more for herself. During her time there, Gianna was a little bit unique. She was a little on the young side. She was one of the younger residents there. And I made Fulshia crazy with Gianna graduating high school. I, for me, my big picture had to be she needed to graduate high school. I, I think back now, and I'm glad I did, I got her to do that. I'm glad that that happened. And she was very much on board. She was a very academic kid. But I realize now that, you know, if it would have waited or didn't happen, it wouldn't have been the end all to be all because she was working so hard on herself and so hard on finding her peace and, and understanding her, her adoption and understanding who she was and how loved she was, that the school wasn't as important as I was making it. But I always felt through so much of my journey that I kept, I don't want to say, it sounds terrible to say, but lowering the bar and just like, God, just please just let her get out of bed today and go to school. God, please just let her, you know, have a good day. That my expectations I found were, were a little, I don't want to say low, but I just, I just wanted to get through the day. So having her graduate from high school was, I don't know, was tremendous to me. And I know in the big picture, it probably Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't, but it was something that we just felt, my husband and I, that we, we just needed to support her through it. And I know that it was all I had to focus on. It was the one, the last thing that I could control was getting her through school and full sheer, just never missed a beat with it. I mean, they went above and beyond to accommodate this and to help Gianna and give her the support she needed to graduate high school. Um, and that was just a huge milestone for her. It was just, she graduated with her peers the same time they did. And it was just huge. And, and I so am so grateful that Fulshia was able to do that. I loved, th there's so much I love about Fulshia. But one of the things that I loved so much was our family weekends. I would encourage anyone who's involved in the program to go to the family weekends. One, it just gives you the opportunity to spend time with your child, but it gave my family the opportunity to finally understand what she was going through, what was inside her, the pain that she was in. But it also gave us the opportunity to see that all these young women and all these families were just like us. We, you know, we weren't unique. I used to sit up at night and wonder, how did this happen to us? We, we, we love each other, we're a good family, we support each other. How did this happen to us? And then when I got there, I realized that every family was asking the same question. We were all struggling with how are we here? What happened? How, how can we help our girls? We were all asking the same question. And in those family weekend sessions, weekends, you go to different sessions and you kind of go through what it's like in the day of the life of a resident at Full Shear. And these young women, I mean, what they, the strength that they have to go through these days and to express their emotion and, and share their emotion, it's just incredible. But I loved meeting the, the residents, the, the fellow residents, um, who many have turned out to be very good friends with my daughter still to this day, and the moms and dads. As, as a woman, we, we tend to share a lot more, but my husband was just always very closed off about it. You know, I had the support of my girlfriends through the whole thing to talk about it. And although they couldn't understand completely where I was coming from, they were still supportive. But my husband was always just, don't talk about it, don't talk about it, bottled up. But once he was there and he went to his first father support group, he opened up and it was so incredible for him to hear from other dads that were just like him how they felt and their experiences with their daughter. And we didn't feel as, I don't want to say, not odd or unique. We were all the same in those situations. And it was so helpful to just hear from everybody else. I really loved hearing from the alumni parents or the senior parents, the ones whose daughters had been there 
maybe a bit longer who were on that next stage, ready to transition out, ready to find careers, ready to go to school. I loved hearing from them. Is one of the things that would always happen to me is I, I wasn't looking at tomorrow or the next hour or the next day. I was looking at a year down the road, six months down the road, five years down the road. How is she going to be able to do this? How is she going to be able to that to do that? And hearing those moms who have gone through it, where they were now and where their daughters were now, gave me such tremendous comfort. When you're going through this, it's it it's. You, you just you just want the best for your child and and you just want them to be happy but you know, sometimes happiness is not that easy to achieve but I felt such a sense of relief hearing from these other parents that life is good that their daughters are good that things are good and it's almost like you you start to forget how hard life was it, I never thought I'd be able to going through it smile again or be happy again or enjoy life again but or find peace again but we're all good we're all good my family is great my daughter is incredible she um so she graduated full shear she transitioned from the ranch into the apartments um and she fell in love with texas and she stayed in texas and at first when that was told to us and and we had to accept it it broke my heart because i was without her for a year and a half at this point and i felt like i missed out on a lot of years with her because there was so much turmoil in our home and now there's this incredible young lady i just want to get to know but she's going to be staying in texas and that hurt me i felt like i was being rejected and it it took me a while to realize it had nothing to do with me it was all about what was best for gianna and she made such incredible relationships there. She learned to have relationships while she was there, healthy relationships, nothing toxic, nothing um, nothing that I had to worry about. The people that she learned to surround herself with were just incredible people. She um, developed a strong faith while she was there. She developed a strong foundation, a strong support structure, even outside of full share. They taught her how to have these healthy relationships, how to set up boundaries, how to know what's safe for her. And when my husband and I and my son went down to Texas, another trip, um, and we met these people that she was now surrounding herself with, we got it. There was nothing for her really here anymore, unhealthy relationships. She finally has figured out what a beautiful, healthy relationship should be like with, with just other females and with males as well. And she found it there. And when I when we saw her there in her element, we just knew we, we had to let her go and be her in Texas because it really, um, it's where she figured out who she was. It's where she healed. And she has such an incredible connection to that whole area where she lives now. Um, and we couldn't force that. We couldn't take that away. I love um, also talking to other parents because me, when I was always looking a year ahead, a year this, I want them to know, I, I've, I want parents to know that this works. This is what saved not only her, but my whole family, my husband, my son and I, we all learned so much. And it, Gianna did a lot of work, the most work, but we all had to work. It wasn't just Gianna that needed um, help and I don't want to say to change, but we all needed it. We all needed to learn how to have a relationship together. I needed to learn to give up control. My whole life, my my whole, my whole life, but the majority of my relationship with John, Gianna was taking control of things because she was so out of control. Here she is so far away from us and I needed to learn to kind of back off and let her use the skills that her incredible transition specialist helped her with and taught her. Um, she's so independent. Like when I saw her for the first time living on her own and it, it blew me away, I needed to let go and I needed to let her use all the skills that she learned in full shear 
And today she is a full-time college student. She um, just completed or is just about to complete her first semester of college. And she did incredible. She did it all on her own. She, it wasn't me waking her up or me having to do anything. She um, has done it all on her own. Uh, we speak a thousand times a day. Um, I love talking to her. We talk about everything and anything. Um, she found a fantastic job that she absolutely loves. And that was something that I never thought she'd be able to do was hold down a job. I mean, it was always some kind of problem, but she, she's at work at 6.30 in the morning. She doesn't complain. She loves her job. So I have a, a kid that prior to leaving to go to full share, I couldn't get her out of bed. I couldn't get her to go to school. I have this independent young woman who's going to turn 20 next week who figured out who she is, that she's healed, she's she's at peace and she's so happy, she's confident. And I, I talk to some of the other moms in my regular social group that have girls, young, teenage, uh, young adults the same age. And I hear the struggles that they're going through right now, especially in this crazy world. And G doesn't have those. Um, I'm not saying everything's perfect every day, but she has so many skills that she learned at Full Shear of how to cope with her anxiety, how to cope with, you know, those sad days because sad days happen to everybody, but she knows how to deal with them. She knows how to set up boundaries with relationships. And most importantly, she knows how to have healthy, happy relationships. And I don't believe that it would have just happened on its own or if I sat back and did nothing. I truly, truly believe that the person she is today, who is incredible, she would not be that person had I not picked up the phone that day and talked to Helene and said, let's do this. I'm ready. Let's get her to full share. Full share is the place. I just don't believe she would have had it. The relationships, the, the skills that she's learned, We've kept her in aftercare a little bit, so she still um, gets some therapy from her therapist, um, her transition specialist, the things that she's taught. My daughter does her food shopping, her laundry. She manages her apartment. I just don't think those things would have happened. There were things I couldn't teach. They, they were things that just wouldn't have happened had we not um, met the people at Full Shear and, and had the experience that we had um, at Full Shear. I can't say enough about it. I... I'm sad that I can't even come to visit the ranch or to be there for family weekends. I mean, my my goal in life is is to help other families. I I went to a, um, a, a not a lecture. A, a, I had the the pleasure of um, going to hear um, a mom who uh, lost her child in the Sandy Hook shooting, and. She was just a very spiritual, incredible woman. And she said that she has figured out what her purpose in life is, and it's to help people through these difficult times. And I have figured out that my purpose in life is to be there for other moms and, and dads or families the way other people were there for me and share my experience. I can't wait to go back to family weekend to, to sit there with that new mom like I was that weekend, crying and scared and just let them know it's all going to be okay. Put your trust in the professionals here. They really do know what they're doing. And just work on yourself. Continue to find peace for yourself. Get yourself healthy. And just let the team at Full Share do their job because they really are just incredible.